In this problem, we have the gravitational constant G that has a value of 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11 and has units of newtons times meters squared over kilogram squared. And we have to express this in units of astronomical units, years, and solar masses by converting these values. Well, I have meters and I have kilograms as units for G, but the units for G as newtons and I have seconds here, so I have to convert newtons into something that has seconds, meters, and kilograms. Well, I know that newtons are the units of force, and that force is equal to mass times acceleration, and mass has units of kilograms. Acceleration has units of meters per second squared, so I know that newtons have units of kilograms times meters over seconds squared. So now I can plug these new units into of the units for g in place of newtons, I'll get that g is equal to 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. Its units will be kilograms times meters times meters squared over seconds squared times kilograms squared. The kilogram on the top is going to cancel, and we'll be left with 1 on the bottom. So g will be equal to 6.67 times 10 to the negative 11. It'd be meters cubed over seconds squared times kilograms. Now I can begin doing my conversions because now I have only meters, kilograms, and seconds. I'll now write this on the line below so I can do my unit conversions. Now I'm going to start with converting meters into astronomical units. If you see here, I have meters cubed on the top, and I need to have it so these meters will cancel with the meters I'm going to plug in here, and we'll be left with only astronomical units. So I know that it's going to have to be on the bottom, and I know it's meters cubed, so I'm going to have to cube both of these terms, the astronomical units, so I'll get astronomical units cubed, and I'll also get uh, the meters, which will be 1.4 four nine six times ten to the eleven that will all be cubed and I'll get meters cubed. So it'll look like this. On the bottom I'm gonna have one point four nine six times ten to the eleven meters. This will all be cubed. And on the top I'll have astronomical units cubed. Now we'll do the rest of the conversions. I'll do seconds now. Since seconds are on the bottom, I know that my expression for seconds is going to be on the top. This will be 3.156 times 10 to the 7 seconds. This time it'll be squared. And on the bottom, I'll have years squared. And for kilograms, I'll do the same thing. It'll be 1.99 times 10 to the 30 kilograms over 1 solar mass. So this will be equal to... It'll be 6.67 times... 10 to the negative 11 times 9.96 times 10 to the 14 and it'll be times 1.99 times 10 to the 30 and this will all be over 3.35 times 10 to the 37 now the units will be meters cubed times astronomical units cubed times seconds squared times kilograms over seconds squared times kilograms times meters cubed times years squared and times solar masses. So these seconds are going to cancel. These meters are going to cancel. And these kilograms are going to cancel. So this will then be equal to 39.46 astronomical units cubed over years squared times solar masses. That is your final answer. Thank you for watching.